the donut. The I in the reason the donut. The donut. I like donut. <laughs> I don't think any of us in here have ever had donut. I don't like donuts. I don't like sweets. Yeah. I'm more of a meat and cheese kind of like. Me too. Like yeah, like sausage and cheese. Like prosciutto and like gouda. I like I like pink omelets. Yes. Pink omelets. I love like our whole thing. Yeah. Pink omelets. Mm -hmm. What is that, Marker? It's a ship. Mm -hmm. it's like a I can tell you're white, Noah. <laughs> 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 it, it was made into a ship. A we, was down, we, we was down at Southern and uh, someone got stabbed in the eye. Hmm. Thank you. So, you have an impaled object in the eye. <clears throat> how, do you, how do you want to go about it? Do we want to move, remove it? No. no. Come on, it's gonna be nice yeah. and gooey. I, gonna, I don't want to I remove want it. To. I don't want to see eye jelly. I'm good. Ah, there she is. She wants to remove it, but she wants. Mm -hmm. We always want to remove it, but we I don't. don't. I never do. So, why don't if you that was never heard, you wouldn't want to do that. Don't you lie to me. Uh, I'd take that out real quick. Church, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Johnny Have we done our reading? Yes. Yes, she says. I was. I did as much as I could. As much as you could. Okay. <laughs> So, how are we going to secure and how are we going to stabilize? Close the other <laughs> eye so it doesn't move. Yeah. Sir, can you close your other eye? Why do we do that? Because the eyes move. are both going to move. You're moving together. You don't want to Symmetrical move. movement. Okay. So the eye closes. Now, I'm telling you right now, all the eye injuries I've had, you tell them to close your eyes. <laughs> so that's what happens when the eye closes. It was the second time. All right. So at any rate, you were disgusting. You could have waited the door shut. Trust me. No, you couldn't. You couldn't say anyway. So even if they if they ask them to close their eye, they in obvious curiosity, most people want to go. <laughs> they want to know what's going on. They're going to squint the one eye, which is going to make it worse, and then they're going to try to open the other eye. Take your thumb, because remember, we need to stabilize. So, take it much as you would just any other one, whether it be down here, impaled object, up here in the eye, you stabilize it. Keep it from moving. Gently, gently. I'm get, I'll just give her eye out. Take your thumb. Push down across the eye, across the eyebrow, closing their eye. As you push directly down, put rest your thumb onto the cheekbone. Their eye can will, will not back open up or will not open back up, no matter how hard they try. Had a few. So once that's done, then we then we stabilize and secure. So, the little donuts for, for cling work wonderfully. <coughs> you can make these yourself in, in, a, in a pinch. It's not that hard. You can take cravats, you can take gauze pads, whatever it's going to be. If you're using gauze pads or, gauze pads or trauma pads, take your trauma shears, cut the center out. Same thing. Comes directly over top. Go grab the other one. Move your fingers across. All you're doing is just shearing at that point. Are we good here? Hey guys, on a side note, a lot of your stations, I know, like in my squirrel house, I've got three of those that I kept, that I made, and I keep them in a Ziploc bag and our trauma bag. Mm -hmm. Most stations will have it. If not, say something to one of your officers, see if they give a shit, and make a couple. What are they called? Just yeah. donuts. Donuts. I donuts for the. I know. There's normally at least five on every bag because people make them in the store. So. Just make sure they're in a Ziploc bag that's not going to get dirty. <laughs> <laughs> there's like a lot of I don't really know. No, it's the same one that's all no, for the same more patients. <laughs> He's comfortable. I mean, maybe she was, trying, she was going for the Zorro effect. I don't know. Right. Zorro. So, no, we are going to go for Kling for this, for this patient. Kling? Why? I'm gonna let you explain that. 
Because you want to make sure cover their airway. Cover their airway? <laughs> Are you trying to kill the guy? <laughs> Yeah. Do you have something in your eye? Please go to sleep. You are down people. We're done with y'all. Wow. Don't you? We don't do that anymore. Don't you? It's a small role. Create your headband. Okay. You can. And what we have found, like, yeah, we can demonstrate to them. All you have to do is secure the place. If you have a person holding like this, oh, if I was doing my shit. It's not done right. It helps. I'll do. Yeah. Hey, bud. All right. So ideally, you want it to be on the side. Mm -hmm. really the thumbs and nose. Nice. That's the other part. Yeah. <laughs> Back up. And the question was, don't we do the cups? Well, we used to do cups, and we can still show it. The problem is this: cups, if they're not secured properly, will break loose. Part two: We will keep cups in the river. Two by two, four by four, anything will work here. There you go. You want to cover the other eye. The other eye is, is now closed because it is packed directly over. They can open their eye, but they're not going to see nothing. All they're going to see is black, so their, both eyes will finally relax because they cannot see. And all you're doing is just simple movements. Now I've been told, are you got are you are you still teaching keeping it fanned across yes. the back of the head? Yes. Keeping it fanned. So fanned. Keep it wide. wide. Yeah. yeah. You want the wider gauze? Or you, can no, you can use it. you can use that size. I would I prefer would that, that because it gives yeah. it more stability. Mm -hmm. All you're doing is just wrapping, wrapping one side mm -hmm. to the next. Fan across the back. So went this way, came across the front. And you're just going to pull back down, so as you're wrapping, you're pulling opposite. If there was a cup in there, there's a whole other technique. Like during the figure eight, you have to do reverse and, you know. It's like when you're doing a reverse, you're all forward. Once back you're done, reverse. all you do is you tuck it. You tuck it right back into the into the gauze. If you want to tape it, if you want to do any of that stuff, you're more than welcome to. Several gauze. I don't think he needs his nose checked. <laughs> you're going to put once an NPA in there. Once you have it stabilized and you have enough enough cling on here, it's not going anywhere. And once you cover their eyes, their eyes are, are, are no longer moving. And, and in all honesty, what you what you will see in an impaled object is this will be doing this the whole time as you're trying to secure it. Because he is trying to squint, he is trying to move his eye, he is trying to go like this, so in order to see out of the other eye, and it causes this the whole time. It is a big pain in the butt. And that's an understatement. Yeah. I'd probably do that are too. They, I'm guessing they're in pain, right? Oh, they are in a lot of pain. Pain scared. What's going on? Knock me out. One second. I'm in a minute. So, in, 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 in this patient, what will you not be doing that would be part of a normal Pearl. assessment? <laughs> Pearl. Yeah. Yeah. The hopes that you would take a look at their eye to make sure that that you haven't uh, uh, sustained any real any real sort of head injury, but any cerebral fluid. But I don't want in his ear now. You can do that. How? If it's bleeding out of his ear, you're gonna see. I can move this stuff. Oh, start the halo. Well, a. You'll see it before you wrap it. You, yeah, I was going to say you want to look at all that before you. Before wrap I it. start touching. Okay. What is the halo on the side of it? Pardon? Wouldn't this start the halo on the side of it anyway if it's leaking? If there's blood missing, yep. yeah. Blood, yep. If you have something impaled in here, your decap PCL is around that face. And here is going to be very limited. You're going to touch because if you touch what's impaled in there, oh. it, yeah, you're going to know it. No. They're going to know it. So you need to be really careful with this kind of stuff. Hmm? I was going to say, this is necessary. You, know, you already know you got an object. Like, you, you, you check the other they got step and they fill so back. You're going to check the head. other eye. What you're looking for is if, is if you have a blown pupil. A blown pupil is indicate indicating what? It went too far without the brain. So we have some sort of, of head injury. So if you're seeing CSF, indicates a head injury. If, so you can get that from your nose. You can get that from the ears. <coughs> 
questions, comments, concerns? You're going to make that donut for us, right? <clears throat> You're going to make that donut. You're going to make the donut. You're going to show us how to make that donut, right? Huh? You're going to show us how to make that donut, right? Yeah, Susan. Can I send the phone? 